so now after having our character here in our in the unreal engine the next step is to animate our character so to animate our character either we can animate it by bone by bone or keyframe by keyframe or we can use the animations by Mixamo and then use it use it here uh, one thing is we cannot directly use the animations by Mixamo because of the bone structure so this is the bone structure of a dash character but Mixamo has a different bone structure and the unreal mannequin has a different bone structure uh, so this is the bone structure of the Unreal Mannequin. So in order to have the animations work interchangeably, we need to retarget the bone structures. We need to retarget the animation, uh, sorry, the skeleton basically. So for that, what we have to do is, uh, as we have opened the Unreal Skeleton, we need to go to Retarget Manager. If you can't find it here, you will click on this and you can uh, get it. So after that, we select the humanoid rig, then we select auto map. And by default, we work with the T pose because uh, the animations which come from Mixamo are also the T pose. So it works fine. So we can, I mean, we need to make them into T pose. So now modify the animation, use the current pose. So now when we hide the pose, it's the back, it's back to what it was. And now when we view the pose, this is the pose which we'll be using for retargeting. Click on save. Now this is done for the mannequin. Now we have to retarget for our dash character. So go to the skeleton, then the retarget manager, then select humanoid rig and then we have to here we can't do an auto map right because uh, uh, it has a different bone structure so for this we have to go one by one so for this uh, i have pro, uh, i have actually a list for the mapping so this is the task to humanoid mapping this is basically uh, this is the base mapping so we also have advanced mapping so uh, let me tell you the difference so in the base mapping we just map the uh, main bones which is the thigh bones the leg bones the shoulder and the arms and the main neck and the head but in the advanced we also have uh, we also map the finger bones the joint the smaller ones the detailed ones basically so for now i'll be just retargeting the main bones so so the list is here i will also link it down yes so now we are done with the manual part so now for this also we need to change the pose making it to t pose so that will actually help us when we want to work with maximum animations so modify pose use the current pose now click save uh, this is also save Now before we work into Maximo animations, let me show you that we can also now retarget Unreal, I mean uh, mannequin animations. So this is a walk animation which is by Unreal. So we can also retarget this. Retarget, then select the base skeleton. This is what it is. So some of you may not see this. Uh, see the options here. So what we what we have to do is 
view options and just check this show plugin content then it will show you you can change the location and all i will not do that for now so now the animation is created so now we have our beautiful dash character running on the animation by unreal so we click save yep now on on the similar notes we can uh, download the animation from mixamo and then retarget the mixamo animation and then again create a retarget anim asset and then uh, it will work fine for the dash character so let's uh, quickly do that for the mixamo animation uh, mixamo what should we do let's bring this hip hop dancing we download with skin okay fine as it has been downloaded the animation is downloaded now we drop it to unreal engine we have the animation now we click import yes now the mixamo animation is imported click clear the let's see what the animation is yep it looks funny <laughs> okay so now we save all the animations now we find the hip-hop dancing skeleton and then again do the same step which is convert to the humanoid rig for this the maximo to humanoid we have a separate mapping i also have that so we can quickly do that yeah so now we are done with the manual work again and now we have the typos by default so it's not an issue here so we don't need to change the pose so we click save uh, yes now we are ready to go so this was the animation so we click retarget anim assets duplicate anim assets and retarget so we select the uh, Genesis 8 base skeleton and click retarget where is that one created so we click select the Genesis then click retarget okay now we're getting the error that we don't have a preview mesh so for this we can that's an easy fix so we just say preview mesh and then click ok then apply to edge it that's all now we again click retarget anim assets duplicate assets then this then click ok so now we have animation let's see how that is yep the animation is working perfectly fine it's slightly elevated in the plane so we can just bring it down while we are working on any scene so yes Let's 
see how will it look just click there a little more down the next place yeah this looks pretty good now yes people so that was all so now we are finally able to work on dash characters and retarget our skeletons to finally have mixamo animations on our dash characters thank you